Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I bought something super cool and I wanted to open it with you guys and show you and tell you a little bit about what I, why I bought this. So let's take a look. So this is from Peg and All and this is their um, Sendak roll and it's essentially like a thing with pouches and places to put art stuff so that you have one thing um, that you can carry everything in. So the reason, actually before I open this, the reason why I got this is that I looked around online and couldn't find anything that I could really fit a bunch of different kinds of things into just one thing where I could open it up and see a whole bunch of stuff that I had. And it was very frustrating um, looking around. I have, I'll show you this, this Derwent um, like pencil roll. And the problem with this one, all these Tombos and stuff will fit in here, is you really can only use this for regular sized pencils. It's meant for that and really for nothing else because if you roll this up and then you go to put this around it, it's not stretchy. And so then you can't um, snap it and close it unless you've got like things missing or leaving spaces and it really only holds this. There's no other pouches to put anything else. And so what was happening was I was packing up to go paint outside and I always had all these different boxes. And so then when I went to go create, I was having to pull out a whole bunch of different stuff to be able to see my supplies. And that became kind of um, overwhelming and annoying because right, like if you're gonna go paint outside, you kind of just wanna go and open everything up and just get right to it. So I went on the hunt for something different. And that's when I came across this. Now, this is um, probably more expensive than even you would guess. So that's just something to be aware of. I spent my own money on this. This is not a sponsored post or video or an advertisement or anything like that. Um, but I wanted something that was really high quality and a little bit of a keepsake. And so I didn't mind spending the money. Just, I'll put a link to it below in case you wanna check it out, but just be aware that whatever you think expensive is for this, probably double it. <laughs> um, but a lot of people really like them. They don't regret buying them and like I said, I wanted something that was a little bit of a keepsake that, you know, I could build, you know, drawing memories and all these of all these times when I went out to create and it was this thing that I could carry with me through life. It wasn't just this thing that could only do one thing like this or something that was going to fall apart. This would really do everything for me. So this is a cool buckle because like I said, it's adjustable. Um, like the Derwent is not, like a lot of them surprisingly are not. Um, some do come with elastics and things you can put around them, but this is an adjustable belt and this is really sturdy. So like once this is closed, this isn't gonna just flop loose, it's in there. So you undo the buckle and we're gonna open it up. And it's made out of canvas and it's it says duck canvas on their website and what this feels very similar to is it's a little bit more textured um, than like a Konkin bag from Fjall Raven if you have one of those it's got that similar feel like it's not just canvas it's got something on it to protect it which is nice and it's got a zippered pouch over here you know that you could put small things in it has two medium pouches here. It has two larger pouches here. It has a whole bunch of the smaller pencil pouches. And then on the back, there's two larger pouches. So one of the things I wanted to check, and where is it? Here it is. I have one of these from Art Toolkit and it's a little 
palette that I use for my gouache and my watercolor, and I like it because it's super compact, and I'm hoping that it fits in here. It would definitely fit in one of these back pouches, but I also, it would, I think it would be loose in there. I don't know. So let's see. So that definitely fits in there, which is really nice. Um, let's see with pencils. So these are big chunky pencils. And these are a little bit snug and I did read they'll loosen up a little bit over time, but if you have big chunky colored pencils, you're only gonna get one of them um, in there. So just something to be aware of. So put a few of those in here. And with these, I've seen people get two at a time. So you can definitely get two at a time in here, which is nice. So I'm gonna just go ahead and fill up this whole row. Okay, so you can get a good amount of pencils in here, definitely. I mean, this is for plein air painting, so I think it's better if you try not to take too much stuff with you. But let's just see if we could get a Tombow in here if we wanted to. And yeah, of course that works. So if you wanted to fill this up with markers some, you could. These guys even are gonna be too big. So if you have like Poscas, let me see. If you have even like the smaller Poscas or Molotows, those are gonna be just a little bit too big to fit in these, but you can put them in these pouches in the back, even with the pencils right there, because the fabric's nice and flexible. So you can get stuff in there. Um, and let's see, so I can get my water brushes over here. What I'm gonna do eventually is, well, let me put these over here. So I'll put a few Tombows in here. What I'm gonna do eventually is get a tin, now that I know I have this and I can see how big it is, I wanna get like a nice flat, small tin just to put some broken pieces of Neo colors in so that I can have those in here too. And then in the zipper pouch, I have a little pencil sharpener. Um, this one's great because you can sharpen to different kinds of tips, so one will do like that nice long um, tip on the pencil for you. So I have that. And I like this chisel tip Posca, specifically this ivory one for taking with me because I can use it to lighten areas. It's got a lot of transparency to it and it's a nice warm white. So I think I can get that in here. And then I have an acrylic gouache. This one's too big, but if you have a small one, you could get it in here. So I'll probably have to get like a little tube of gouache just to go in there. And I think, yep, that'll zip up. So let's see how this closes. So this folds over first to hold things in. And then I can roll it like that. And buckle it. And I still have room um, in the back. If I had like a nice, soft, flexible sketchbook or something, I could definitely fit something in here because I can get my whole hand in here still. So there's still plenty of room for that. But yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys because like I said, I was looking for something that could really do a little bit of everything. 
and be a little bit of a keepsake. I wanted a high quality item, like I said, that you know would weather through things that I could take with me in all my drawing sessions and create memories with and all that. So I think this is really gonna fit. So I'll do an update soon and let you know how this goes. I'm probably gonna get this all packed up the way I want it and then use it in the studio a couple of times before I take it out in plein air just so that I can get used to where things are and kind of get into an organization and a rhythm with it. So I hope that this was helpful and gives you maybe some organization ideas ideas or maybe um, helps you find something that you were looking forward to. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.